All right, guys, back on the lake today. I've been out in um, about three weeks. Name of the game today is uh, testing CDRs, clear double rigs. We got we got a lot of good baits on deck. So we got a couple of DRTs we have to show you guys. We got a couple of mag drafts. We got a couple of storms. And what do we have here? Flow work design. We got some flow work design stuff too. So we're testing that. We'll give you a feedback on that. That flow works design, my goodness. Like I've never seen nothing like it. I've never seen nothing like it. So yeah, I'll show you. My goodness, that looks so crazy. This is a strictly tree. That is nuts. I've never seen anything like that. That is innovation right there. It's a glide bait, soft bait. It's like, like they took like they took everything that was good about everything and they put it all in one package. Yeah. And then we're gonna yeah. put it on our package. <laughs> we're gonna put it on our package too. That's <laughs> it. Yeah, look at that. That looks so that looks so nuts. It looks so good though. Cool design. Cool design for sure. Yeah. They come in two models, a big one and a small one. You throw the, the basic model? You throw the heavy duty, the extreme heavy duty. This is the regular. Yeah, yeah, I want more action. More action. Yeah, that's the thing that so that's the thing we've been getting a lot of questions about is uh, do I buy the heavy duty or the or the extra heavy duty? So my simple answer to that is if you are working baits that have a lot of action, then you just want the normal heavy duty. If you're throwing baits that uh, don't have a lot of action, like you like, say, like a traditional swim bait, boot tail that just swims straight, then you want the, the extreme heavy duty or the extra heavy duty. Because that, that, ex that extra heavy, it keeps the bait spread apart. Like you, don't, you don't want the baits to crisscross in front of each other. So that's why you want the stiffer arm. But if you want, you know, more action, you want baits that are kind of... Can you use the action up here? Oh, that's just a carp. Never mind. If you want baits to dart in and out, or if you want one to float high and low, but you guys still want that side-to-side -side action, you, you want the regular one. The regular one's what you want, so... Alright, so we spent about three to four hours, uh trying to catch bedding fish with glide baits and things like that and that wasn't panning out. So once in a while as tournament anglers you have to leave behind what you want to do and go do what they are telling you to do. Uh, today has been a weird day. Super bright sun and then all of a sudden cloud cover thunderstorms all day. So we uh, go down mid lake and we see What's some it? fish yep, pushing bait and I'm thinking it's also a good time to Throw the umbrella rig. This is the mini bladed with four weightless underhead spins on it. Also, all prototypes, so they'll be released. So, oh, that's not crappie. That's not crappie. That's a big bass, dude. Well, that's a big bass. How, how are you sure? I'm oh, pretty sure. I can see it. That look like a big bass. That's a big bass. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Oh, oh, hold on. It's too heavy to both flip, guys. See, a bit better spin, too. For guys, yeah. say, it didn't work. Look at that. Hit the underspin. Who are you like that? That's what I said. It's a good one. It's a good one. Big one, dude. Oh yeah. Here we go. Big one. It's a big one. one. Prototype umbrella rig. Um, underspins. Approved. Approved. It's a big one. Oh, is that yeah. School with you? Oh, it is school with you. Ew, what's that? Oh yeah, so Damn. You didn't tell me you had that many fish down there. Oh, this is a chasing bait. Chasing bait, killing bait. 
Yeah, go back up there. Damn. They're pretty active. Something's chasing them pretty good. Ooh. Got him. Got him. Hell yeah, again, son. Yeah. What's up, bro? What's up? Oh, it's a good one. <laughs> I don't know what is going on right now. <laughs> hey, Rick Bot is on fire right now. Hey, Rick Bot is uh, pretty damn good, okay? Shit. I have my video. I got my video. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what happened. <laughs> Catch some white bass, right? Here. Think you'd be catching white bass? And all of a sudden, you'd be catching this. Like, yeah, I saw that too. Cast and catch, right? I don't know what happened, but I'm on a different level right now. Bro, that's a solid. That's a solid three and a half, four, dude. Well, that's a big one. That's Mr. Biggs right there. Damn, Mr. Biggs. Yep. The shiny blades. It gets people crazy. Yo, then you see. Pop, pop off the grass. Oh, what's up, big bro? I thumped it. Something thumped me. I know you want bass on. That one might have been a white bass. I don't know. Did I just catch a frog? <laughs> <laughs> catch a frog on that? I don't have a frog. You look like a frog. Yeah. Down with green legs. <laughs> that would be pretty funny, actually. Oh, one. Another one, bro. Another one. Nah, maybe not. Maybe the white bass. No, no, that's LMB, right? It's a little one. It's a little one. Oh dang, that post bomb bite. That post bomb bite is ridiculous. That post bomb bite is good. I mean, it ain't even that small either compared to the other one is small. Yeah. Oh! Uh, that was a. That was a. Like, you know, that was an easy catch and release. But there it is. I see a fish over there. Over here. Oh my god, dude. Did you see that? Oh, dude, that was a. Oh, I still got him. That was the hardest freaking hitting bass I've ever had. Can't be this one. This one's too small, dude. Came up? Yeah, that was pretty good. That was pretty big bass. Dude, I'm just casting. I'm just almost penduluming back from the uh, the grass line. Get the one. I think they're in the grass and set up to go hit bait that comes by. But you go do over on grass, right? Get the one. But mine's like super lightweight though. I don't know if yours can do. Mine can do it. Right can we hover? Oh, I don't hover the one. But damn, that shit hit is so freaking crazy, dude. I gotta show you the footage later. That shit was nuts. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, there's a white bass, though. Ooh, that's when I just hit it. If it was a white bass, it was a giant white bass, too. Alright, I'm gonna keep the white bass now. But damn, that was nuts. That was nuts. Huh? Yeah. Point for the boat ramp, okay? I only came over here because I got the new thing. Yeah. Oh my gosh, dude. A catfish? I have no idea, dude. It's a catfish. That's a cat? Oh my gosh, you caught a catfish on an umbrella rig. <laughs> so crazy. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is ridiculous today. Oh my gosh, this is not, this ain't right. This should be legal. 
for real. It's catching too much fish. Yeah, we are. Yo, when was the last time you caught a freaking catfish? On the arm, brother, man. Huh? Yeah, I hooked it twice. This was a guarantee he's not coming off. Looks good. Pins them on the grass. And this put it in there. You're back on. I was like, wait, you're going to hunt. Oh, look at that. I'm just throwing it on this grass. Got him. Got him. Got him. This is a bass. This is a bass. Damn. All these baby bass. Once you figure them out, they're not that hard, you know? Once you figure them out. Umbrella rig secrets. Oh, there we go. Pendulum on the pendulum. Little ones. Hit the side one, too. There we go. Dude, that's when you want to see Mega Live. You want to see when it look like that. Smoked it twice. Smoked it twice? <laughs> How is that possible? Google like what you do. What's up? What's up? What's up with that? Got him. Got him. White bass. Got him. White bass, we're keeping them, so we're keeping them, you know? We'll keep one, we'll keep three. There we go. Hell yeah, the drop, son. That's how easy fishing should be, man. Right there. On the drop. Like he was waiting for it, you know? Hit the underspin too. See? Legit. Legit. I mean, it looked like it was a big spotted bass. Oh my goodness. It was like, dun, dun. I was like, what? You saw it go, think, think, right? the deal just to get on and enjoy me but it looks good though the grass looks good right now mm, I don't know if it's fish or not but how are you gonna hit me like that oh, there we go Finally. Got one too? Alright, there we go. Umbrella rig, man. Post spawn, guys. Post spawn umbrella rig. It's a nice one. Well, I finally know this is about how Brian Thrift won that tournament. Throw an umbrella eggs over the grass, you know? Oh, yeah, right? Got him? Yeah. Yeah, that was a little nice grass. Grass little troll. There we go. What? Does no, it actually hits the three three though. Yeah, but it's a small bait compared to mine. Though. Well, it's a small bait that attracts him, and then he just commits on the big bait back. There it is. It's a nice one. All right, guys. It's dark already. We had a great day. 
but we just didn't have a great day doing what we wanted to do. We wanted to catch a bunch of fish on big glide baits, things like that, because, you know, everybody wants a tough bite. But it ended up being a frog bite, which I'm not complaining about. It ended up being an umbrella rig bite. So, hope you guys enjoyed all that. Sub to the channel if you haven't. If you're interested in the umbrella rig, we actually make those. Uh, TornadoInnovation.com. And use coupon code YouTube2022 for $5 off. All right, guys. Sub so before you go. And uh, we appreciate every one of you. Okay?